So the title of the talk is Forget the Career Ladder, Start Creating Assets. So what do I mean by that? I'd like you to consider a scenario that you may well have encountered in real life. And that is you are at a family gathering of some kind. Maybe it's a holiday, maybe it's a family event or a wedding or a birthday or something like that. And at a certain point, the conversation turns to you and your generation and what you're all up to. And not for the first time, you're hearing quite a lot about your cousin George, who is a big success in the, in the big city. So cousin George, bless him, he has taken a rather more obvious and conventional creative path from your perspective. So he is in one of the professions. Maybe he's a lawyer or a doctor or a consultant or a manager in a big corporation. And the thing is, cousin George's success is very easy for other people to see and understand because you know, he's got yet another promotion, yet another pay rise, yet another fancy big office or new job title, or um, he's driving around in, a, in an even bigger corporate car this year. And it's and, and good for him. Well done, George. Um, and, and, and yet at the same time, whenever the conversation comes around to you, it's it's a little more hesitant. It's a bit more. There's a few more questions along the lines of, so are you, you still doing your, your thing? Yeah. And, and how's that going? Yeah. You, you still want to do, you know, and what you're getting is you're getting some version of why can't you be a little bit more like cousin George? Cause you know, he's really made a success of his life. He knows what he's doing and where he's going. And, and meanwhile, you know, you, you're doing your thing and I don't quite understand, but maybe you could explain it to me again later. And of course, on one level, this doesn't really matter at all, does it? Because we do not want to be like Cousin George. We love him dearly, but that is not the path that we are going to take. And yet, you know, we wouldn't be human if there weren't a few days, you know, when it's just us alone in the studio. And maybe we get some bad news, a project falls through or somebody doesn't like our latest thing, whatever that is, or there's a tricky situation with a client. And the little voice starts up at the back of your mind, you know, do you think your family's got a point? You know, what, what exactly is it you're doing, you know? And, and how are you any further on from this time last year or even 10 years ago? And, you know, on those days, it would be nice to have something to hold on to, would it not? As a, as a kind of sense of direction and, and purpose. The, because looking at it more positively, I think, what we want, you know, however avant-garde, however original, however out there we are, it, it, you know, certainly as, as the years go by, it would be nice to have a sense of purpose and direction and progression, to have a sense of, well, this is what I'm aiming for. And this means that if I, the hard work I put in today means that things will go well for me in the future. I can earn more money. I can have more opportunities with the effort that I put in. It would be nice if opportunities were coming to me rather than having to go out there and hustle quite so hard. You know, the energy that we have in our 20s and 30s, trust me, isn't, it's not quite the same level when you get to 40s and 50s. And um, it's, it's also, you know, setting aside professional success, I think, again, we want to feel that we're making some kind of difference in the world that the work we do isn't just for us or even just for our clients, but there's some kind of ripple effect or have you ever seen the movie, It's a Wonderful Life? We like to feel that we are contributing something <clears throat> to the wider community. And this is why I keep coming back to this idea of just forget the career ladder, forget Cousin George's path. It's not yours, it's not mine, it's not ours. It's actually, you know, if you, pay attention to the news and the economic trends, the job for life and the secure career ladder are getting less and less secure. The world is slowly coming around to our way of thinking a little more. So, you know, the career ladder was never really an option for us. We want to do our own thing. And the frame I invite you to use around your work is this idea of creating assets. Mm -hmm.